Hello my lovelies! Today we are doing a hairstyle that is somewhat romantic and looks vaguely historic. So we're going to call it the bodice ripper because that's what a bodice ripper is. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with that terminology, bodice rippers are a genre of novels uh, also known as romance novels, but more than just a romance novel, they usually have Fabio or another man that's very chesty and usually has some longish hair on the cover, and then the heroine is clinging to his leg or up against his chest, and she is invariably in some sort of bodice. Yes, they are vaguely historic and somewhat romantic, since that is also this hairstyle, Bodice Ripper. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the most creative name I've come up with in a long time. So, we're going to start. We have to separate our hair. There are a few things you're going to need. You need some pins for this. I am curling my hair today. Not all of my hair, just sections of it, because the romantical kind of stuff always has curls for some reason. It's never a straight haired historical heroine. Have you ever noticed that? Always curls. Wonder why. Any hoodles, curly girls, see? Y'all were heroines once upon a time. Um, so I am gonna curl my hair, as always. Curl, the hair, curl your hair the way you see fit. You don't need curls for this. You can just go with your waves or what have you, but I'm gonna do curls because that's what's in my brain. Um, so I will use my wand. If you are curling, remember your curl clips. You guys look at this bag going, it's a, it's a bag. Curl clips, guys, these things. They help our curls stay better. So, curl clips, yeah. Clear hair tie, hair pins, da 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 da. Okay, uh, let's separate, let's separate. So we're gonna make, we're gonna actually separate three times. We're gonna separate out the front, and we're going to separate out the very bottom, and then we're basically just going to make a sloppy-ish bun with the rest of our hair, and then we'll do all the curling, and then there's going to be a break. Oh, it's just, I'm so excited. So I'm going to split in the middle just for myself. Um, you don't need the center part just yet, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I like things in certain steps. <laughs> It is just me, it is just the way I am. So, there we go. Now, we want to separate out the hair in front of our ear, like from the middle to just behind our ear, down, do, 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 this much, either side. Let's see. This doesn't need to be like particularly even, just kind of like mostly. You want it to be like this line, it doesn't matter if that line is straight. You just want the, about the same amount of hair on both sides. Why do I have hair from all the way back here? I'm gonna leave you back here. That feels about right. So this I'm going to move out of the way for now so y'all know what that means our little hair beard that we like to make here. I don't actually like to make it, but we're gonna make it. <laughs> Cause we need to get our hair out of the way for now. Now, we want to leave a little bit down in the back. So I'm just gonna go, mm, say midway, midway around your ears. Go around straight across. Pull that down. It's gonna be most of my purple layer. So not this isn't like a huge amount that we're leaving down, just some, some, right? Leave that out for now. And the rest of the hair that we currently have in our hands, we're gonna make a bun. Alrighty, awesome, super duper. What bun you make is really up to you. But uh, I am going to make basically a simple wrap bun. Should we do that? 
could do a Celtic knot here. I'm just gonna go for a simple wrap because I can make it fluffy later. So I'm gonna take my hair, go up around my hands, and then just wind it, wind it around the outside. Now I'm not going to wind it super tight because you know this is romantical, as it were. Uh, is that most? That's most of it. Cool. Um, I am going to curl this bit. You do not have to curl this bit, BT Dubs. You don't, you don't have to curl this bit if you don't want to. Um, but I'm going to because I want extra curls. So usually you would wind this the rest of the way around when you do this bun and then pull this over everything, correct? But what I'm going to do is just hold on to my tail and still pull this over everything. Okay, I can drop it there. I'm just going to shove the center of this sort of up around the wind. See, we've got a big thing here now. And now I'm just going to pin this down. I think I'll move the curls to the front. I need to pin this first. Do, 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 do. Now, for pinning this, I'm using my big bobbies. At least around the outside. We're not going to see much of this bun. Um, unless you want it to be seen. Like, you know, this is this is your, your jam. You do you. Uh, you don't, like I said, you do not actually have to curl the ends of this. The biggest reason I'm going to curl my ends is just because this is my first wash day hair and uh, all the rest of my hair is going to have curls on the bottoms and then just to have like one hard section in the middle with no curls would be agitating to me myself since, you know, this would be my hair for the week. Uh, <laughs> that's just true facts. All right, now I can move this back to the front since I have the bun pinned down on that side and we'll pin the bun down on this side. But you know, if you're not worried about that, then don't curl. You don't, you don't have to curl this. You can just make this bun because it's not really going to be super incorporated into this hairstyle necessarily. Awesome sauce. Okay. So we are all pinned up pretty well there and I'm just going to Clip this off out of my face for now. I'll get to curling that in a second. He clipped off. Cool. I'm going to take this down just because it made me hot. All right. Now, the hair that we left on in the back. Okay. We are going to curl almost all of this. We are going to take one tiny section, which shall we go let's just take a section from right up here under the bun that much that's all I'm taking this little tiny section and I'm gonna make a rope braid you can make an English braid if you prefer an English braid um, but I'm just gonna make one rope braid and this is gonna be a little accent braid for us but I'm just gonna go ahead and rope braid it now just leave it hang there so that I'll have it all ready out by the time we get to curling. So I'm going to rope braid that and then I'm going to start curling all the rest of the hair that's let down. Okay. All right. I will come back, check in to show you what that looks like when all the curls are pinned up. So you kind of know where we're going. And then, uh, yeah. So I'll see you in a sec once all the curling is done because it takes a while y'all. Back in a second. Alrighty, so we're all curled. So I'm going to tell you how I went about my curls. The front sections, this, I used the cone, stuck there, the cone shape. Um, and I curled this way with the fat part up top on this side, and then this way with the fat part up top on this side. I also used this one for the remnants of the hair in the bun because they were shorter and I could. Now, for the back that's all hanging down, uh, that's really, really long hair. This is still really hot. Ooh, 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 ooh. But I used the fattest one I had um, for these. Find you. 
So these, and you see I have big clips. I did really big curls here, and then everything else I used the smaller wand because the hair that was left over from my bun was much shorter. It was much more difficult up here, but I made lots of little ones, as you can tell by all the pins. I used very, like, one-inch sections, um, which you will see why we did so many when I'm done. But yeah, these ones go on this way. These ones go on this way. All the rest are all this way. All of them. Because <laughs> I didn't feel like switching hands again. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to let all of this cool. And then we'll do takedown and building. Oh, and our little tiny braid, our little accent braid, I went ahead and curled the end of it too. So it's cooling as well. All right, see you in a second. All the curls are down, front curls. You see going this way, our little pony up here, curls in the back. Let's assemble. The first thing we need to do is get that little tiny braid we made right here. So let me pull these curls around. What we're going to do with this is bring it up and around. And basically we are going to cover the part. You see our little part we've got going on? Just bring it right up around that line and we're going to pin it. Now uh, to pin this I'm going to use my tiniest bobby pins, my little bitty ones. And then we've just got, you know, our tail end, which I'm just going to bring up and pin right underneath our bun. Next, if you left these curls out, we just need to kind of pop them on top of this bun in a romantic fashion and pin them down. So I'm going to take my big Amish pins for this and just pin down into the bun underneath. Just kind of arrange them whichever way they'll go. You'll notice I did not brush any of these out. Uh, I'm leaving them as is. Let me get my mirror so I can see what the back looks like. Do, 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 do. For arrangement purposes. All right, pull these over here. All right, let me just double check. Make sure everything is going according to plan. Pin that one up, and then I think we're good. Cool. All right. So, the most difficult, quote unquote, well, curling this was the most difficult part. So now we're gonna work with the front. Um, you'll notice the ones I have in the back. I'm just leaving. I'm not messing. So we want to take these. Don't brush them out, but don't like finger comb all this out either. Just be somewhat gentle. But we're going to take this, we're going to do like a little swirly do here. And we're just going to pin. Let me double check so I can see what I'm doing back here. I'm going to pin right underneath like so. Is that soft enough? Am I getting enough curl there? Uh, let's see. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pin right up into the bun. Take a couple of pins to do this just to make sure that all my strands of hair are contained. As it were, I haven't even checked to see if am I in frame. I'm so bad about when I turn around not being in frame. Okay, cool. <laughs> the other one. That should be all of it, yeah? It feels fairly stable. Same thing on the other side. You guys. You can only see this part, so I'm going to show you this at the moment. Do, 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 do. Let me get my mirror so I don't miss right. So there's this side. I added flowers and butterflies. Kept it relatively simple. Right? My problem is, little frame please, 
It looks great. I'm actually really proud of this, except for that bottom portion. Because I just took pictures to double check. The hair we left down, my curls are nearly gone because I didn't use any hairspray. But I have a solution. Because it looks really great, except for that, and that's annoying me. So what I probably should have done is not actually left this part out. Um, because in my head, I was hoping, you know, we cascade down and then we just have even more length at the bottom. But it just didn't, it just didn't curl the way I wanted it to. It didn't stay. It might have if I've hairsprayed it, truthfully. So what I'm going to do is make another little bun underneath here <laughs> to eat up some of this length. And then I'm going to curl it again. And then we'll see how that looks, yeah? So I have all of this mass of curls, which looks great. We'll just leave that alone because I just don't want a ton of hairspray on my hair. So I'm going to do a quick and dirty bun. And then I'm just going to go like this, knot it as such. How much does that leave down? Good. All right. So just made a little knot. I'm going to pin that down and then I'm going to recurl those ends and we'll see if that fixes it. Let's see! Oh, nice. Didn't even recurl the ends. Just pinned it up. Because <laughs> there's still just enough curl that it's fine. Ah! So then we are done. Let's look at the picture now. All right. Pictures. That way you can see because I know you can't always see the ends of things from this vantage point. So twirly, twirly, da, 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 there you go. Uh, so that is the bodice ripper. Uh, I'm very proud of this one. I think it turned out really pretty. Uh, it is definitely romantic. We had one tiny snafu, which we see was extremely easy to fix. I know my pin is showing sometimes. Gotta make sure those curls are covering that pin on that side. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out nice. It's definitely romantical. <laughs> Very romantical. Um, so yeah, hopefully you like this one. Uh, I don't know that a lot of you will actually do this one, but maybe some of you will. I know we're not huge fan of heat tools here, but you know what? My curly girls should love this one because if you have natural curls, you're set. You are set. Because <laughs> um, your hair is already doing it. You don't have to do any of these extra curls. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, you've got that going for you, curly girls. Um, yeah, I think it's, like I said, it is vaguely historical and somewhat romantic. It is a bodice ripper. <laughs> somewhat romantic. Vaguely historical. Da -da! That's what we got. All right. Um, let me know if you like this one. I do hope at least a few of you try this one. I don't know if you will. Uh, I know when I do like heat curls, a lot of you don't like those. Um, but alas, it's the only way I'm going to get my hair to curl. Granted, I do have overnight curling methods, but yes, thank you for the text. But sorry, I got a text and got all befuddled. So this should be a weird edit. Uh, I think I was saying I don't expect a ton of you to try this one because I know many of you issue heat tools, which is valid. Um, but I don't do them all the time. I only do them every now and then. And I don't know. I know what my hair can take. So I do heat tools sometimes. If you don't want to do heat tools, then use one of the many ways to sleep in curls to get curls the next day. But if you really want these super tight ringlets like this, that's gonna take a heat tool. Um, I know you can probably put your hair up in rag curls and get, but that's a lot of work. This is a little less work. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, next week we will do our illuminated style, our Christmas style. Um, 
I was gonna do a three ponytailed braided mohawk. Uh, I figured it out in my head. I actually put it, did a run through of it last night. And it, it's very comfortable. It looks fine. But it doesn't really look festive enough for our illuminated holiday style. Do you know what I mean? So I'm switching gears, but I think in January we'll probably go ahead and do that mohawk that I did. Mohawk-ish. Uh, because I did really like it. It was really comfortable. It's just, it wasn't festive enough. So next week we get our illuminated style. It will be very festive, which you know means I'm going to put a lot of crap in it because that's what I do. That's festive. Lights. Decorations. Woo! That's that's me. <laughs> Alrighty, um, please stay tuned for pictures of y'all and all of your beautiful hairstyles you've been doing lately. They've been coming in pretty quickly. I'm so glad I'm a little behind. So if you've put one up and I haven't featured it yet, I kind of do themes every week kind of deal. Doesn't mean I'm not going to use it because I will. I will because inevitably you guys will quit sending things in or you'll go through a slow patch where you just don't feel like doing your hair. Then I'll have to go back. <laughs> Alrighty, um, please have a great weekend. Be good at it, and I will see you next week. Love you guys.